Hello, this is Ben. And I'm Anne. We are the founders of ENI Paint. My sister and I are very excited to be collaborating with you online and share the craft that has been in our family for as long as we can remember. If you haven't already done so, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook at UNI Paint, where you will be updated on our collection and upcoming events. We hope you received our paint kits or have sourced your own supplies. In any case, last minute work has to be done. Please see the short list of recommended items. We typically work on a 16 by 20 canvas, but any size can actually work. We have three common brushes, a blending brush or a wash brush. This covers large parts of the canvas and can blend too. This is a flat brush. A number four or a number six, this is great for wide strokes or where you want a lot of paint. And finally, a liner brush. A number zero or one. This is great for fine details in your artwork. Acrylic paint. The primary colors, red, blue, yellow, and for shading purposes, we're gonna add black and white. We didn't mention that we need a palette, a cloth, water cup filled three quarters with warm water. Before you start any painting, I'd like to give you guys some housekeeping tips. First, make sure that your brushes are always clean when changing color. Secondly, you should always have clean water. Change your water often. Third, acrylic paints dry out really fast, so make sure that once you use them, they are completely sealed and airtight. Clean your brushes with warm water at the end of your session if you would like to keep them. For this tutorial, we will go ahead and paint our dancing ballerina. Items required to paint this are your medium sized brush and your pointer brush. You need your palette, don't forget your cup of water. You need your paint. Today I will be using black, red, white, green or aqua, yellow and purple. Remember, we will send you the primary colors and from your primary colors, using white and black, you can mix different shades of color. We will first start with the top, drawing the head, neck, arms and work our way down. Using my black paint, I will go ahead and start painting the head, neck and arms. And for this, I need my pointer brush and black paint. Now remember to moist your brush and add a few drops of water, mixing it with your black paint to make it nicer, smoother and easier to paint. Now that I added a few drops of water, I will go ahead and start mixing with my black paint. I will go ahead and paint my head right here and you want to have a nice oval shape I will actually point her chin a little bit then using my thin brush I will go ahead and draw her neck then work on the arms so first I will do her shoulders and just curving two lines like this and I will paint her arm. Now you want it to start sort of thick from here and then once you work your way out, starting my line thick and just work my way out and just go really thin. There you go. A technique to do this is the more pressure you put on your brush, the thicker your line will be and the less pressure you have, the thinner your line gets. Here I will just, just filling in her collarbone and now I'm going to go ahead and do her chest waist area right there and for this I will just create like a triangle, curving like this. I want my tutu to be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make some dots. I will come back and add a lot of color to it. But for now, I'm just placing my black dots kind of to guide myself of where my skirt or tutu will be. I think I'm happy with this for now. So I will go ahead and start painting her legs. You just want to bring this all the way down. And remember, you start big and it gets thinner as you go down. So I'm just going to 
start painting this line a bit thicker from here and it gets thinner and thinner and then once you reach near the bottom I'm just going to make a little curve and then a really thin just like this I will just add some water to my paint so that it runs nicer and smoother and I will just finish my leg and I want it to have a very nice pointy tip at the bottom like really thin there then I will make my other leg and I want it to bend and sit on the left leg so there you go and then I will draw her foot bent like this like a ballerina I think I'm happy with the legs and now the next step would be to wait about five minutes let the ballerina dry then we can go ahead and apply all our colorful dots on the tutu and then we'll make her a nice crown and also add some color to her top here once the painting is dry we will go ahead and start applying all the color all over our tutu I will start with my yellow You're just placing dots in random areas. This is your painting. You can be creative and basically add whatever color you want to the tutu and just place them anywhere you feel. I will now move on to my next color and I will just go ahead and pick my turquoise or blue. Then I will move on to my third color, which is the red. I am going to go ahead and move on with my green. Color choices don't really matter because whatever color you apply on this it will be beautiful you can add some random dots going down and I'll make some here next I want to create some orange color I will go ahead and mix some red with my yellow and to make it a lighter orange I will just add some white And then I will go ahead and start adding some color to her top here. So I will just go over this part of her top to add some highlight. To make it pop, I will just apply some white paint. I'll go ahead and add some of my red paint. Go over your palette and just pick any color really just to be creative and add more paint. From the same colors that we used on our tutu, I will grab a little bit and start painting my crown. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is just create more dots here where the top of her head is. You can make them just real random. And just before I start shading in her body, I will go ahead and add a little bit more dots, but this time it will be black, kind of to add some shading to her tutu. So I will just place them here, especially near the bottom of her tutu, and this will make the colors pop more. And I will add them in between my other dots. I always like to add some random dots all over the background of my canvas and I will also place some on her head crown. Finally, and our last step is to add some shading to her body. So to do this, all I'm going to do is using my thin brush to take a little bit of white paint and draw a nice thin line on her face where her shoulders are and finally her legs take your line down along the leg like this and you are done 
And that concludes our tutorial. Thank you for using UNI Paint. We look forward to more future collaboration. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at UNI Paint and tag us with your work. We're also happy to answer any of your questions by emailing us at unipaint at gmail.com. Have a great day.